Baby, put on heart-shaped sunglasses because we're gonna take a ride. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, um, so I thought it would be fun if we played a game that was thematic to the holiday. This is a dating simulator. It is called Hatoful Boyfriend, and um, you're at a school for birds, and you're being wooed or cooed. Do you get it? Because birds coo um, by the different bird boys of the school. And uh, this game looked really funny and cute, so we're playing that today. Let's get into it. Okay. All right, Devolver Digital. Thank you for making this game, Media Tonic. Pidgeo Nation Inc. by the Pigeon for the Pigeon. <laughs> Look at all the options we got for Pigeon Boyfriends. I don't know if anyone's noticed from like the few shots I keep in videos of me uh, drinking from my water bottle, but I do in fact have a pigeon sticker on my water bottle. So you know the love I have for these birds is real. All right, new game. St. Pidgeo Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeo Nations. Please enter your name. My first name. I'm gonna use my real name, which is Emily. I don't know why I said that, like, that was a, a shocking twist reveal. Okay. My last name, initial, Is Emily Bishop okay? Wow, what a question. Am I okay? Like from an emotional standpoint, you know. Hatoful Boyfriend includes a powerful visu visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Oh, so we're gonna see like their human sona. We're gonna see the pigeons' human sonas. Um, okay. Display human portraits? Yes! I think it would be cool if this game- oh, it's starting. Also, I don't know why, I knew this was a visual novel, but I thought that like it would have the audio in it, and I guess it doesn't, which means that we get some more of my lovely voice acting. Buckle up. All right. St. Pidgeo Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and faculties. Oh, facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pidgeo Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a, di of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. Oh, so it's not just pigeons, it's all birds. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. Oh, that was my next question. Like, am I a, a bird or am I a human? I guess I'm a human. It's a long story. What are they gonna tell us? Maybe it'll be revealed later. Maybe I'm like one eighth pigeon or something. That would be fun. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryuta, look at him. <laughs> Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Emily. Overslept? Oh, look at him. Ryuta Kawara, okay. This rock dev is named Kawara Ryuta. Oh, that's right, because in Japan it's last name first, okay. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Oh, so this is my like best bird bro. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Girl, what? Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Hunter-gatherer? Am I not a human either? I'm just not a bird. I feel like I'm overthinking this game. Anyways, I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota, Ryota, Ryota. 
and so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Hatoful Boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. First term. Okay, so is this gonna be like my whole academic career at this school? Are we gonna have different arcs? Like how they have an anime? Am I, are, are we gonna have a, a little sports festival arc? Are we gonna have, you know, the school trip arc? Um, I don't know, a beach episode. I think we're in two, three. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. I hope it's a vulture. No, it's just another pigeon. Okay, so even though at the beginning it was like all birds, I think it's just pigeons. It's just pigeons. I'm not complaining. Good morning, every birdie. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Zzz. Oh, it's a... It's a boy teacher. Sorry I can't tell the genders of these pigeons. Okay. Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? That's the te- No! Okay, he's a quail. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math teacher. The fact that they showed his human Sona, does that make him a love interest? No! Bad! That is an adult and I'm a child in high school. Even by second year, that means that I'm like 15. 15 or 16. No. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragani. What's the point? I have no wish to s Oh, okay. Is he like a pigeon? Not a pigeon. He's not a peacock. I know what peacocks look like. What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well. Oh, that's the teacher. I'm like struggling, y'all. These birds look too similar. Am I, am I birdist because I can't tell them apart or do I have bird face blindness? Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Okay. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragani? Y'all, I I have to apologize. I feel like it's gonna take a hot minute for me to like, get all the voices. Bear with me, I'm sorry. Anyways. Shiragani Labelle Sakuya. He's, he's like, he's like an aristocrat. So I'm going to make it like a little, a little, uh, it's up here. It's a little more nasally for the voice. It seems this fan tale is Shiragani Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down glaring daggers at, at Ryuta and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Girl, you're gonna have some late fees. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. That's how it's spelled? My whole life, I've thought that morning dove was spelled like morning dove, not morning dove. 
but apparently it's spelled morning dove, so okay. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Nagaki, exclamation point. He looked away. Oh, is he shy? Or is he like a, a bad boy? Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Oh, he's like a jerk. Yes, I don't want anything with you, to do with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry, <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Bishop Emily, a sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Homeboy is not talking- oh, there you go. Nagaki. Fujishiro. N Fujishiro Nagaki. Freshman. Oh, or is he like a- he's not a jerk, he's shy, I'm- Okay, my bad. I thought Homeboy was being a jerk, he's just like... a shy little freshman. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Okay, homeboy's got depression. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Oh, the plot thickens. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. Girl, me too. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sakazaki Yua is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I- I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that the human Sonas were gonna be hotter. I thought they were gonna be a little sexier than they are. No disrespect. No disrespect to what we've seen, but. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. You're Emily, right? H how did you- I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Okay, so I am a human. Earlier I was like, not sure. I just knew I wasn't a bird. A single poppy in a field of rye. Cute. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, Monami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. 
The infirmary is empty. Weird, did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kind of drugs in here. Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? D -d -d doctor I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm. Uh, is he a pervert? N no, thank you. He is a pervert. Look at that expression. <laughs> Why is the background music for him? From the Nutcracker. This partridge is Iwamin Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a, take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always fun watching the birds hop around. <laughs> Me, when I am in any parking garage. There are always birds in parking garages. I think that club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo, coo! This is no pudding for a man. Coo! Okosan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around like a squished pudding. Hey! Oh, he's dancing around a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. What? What was that interaction that just happened? What? <laughs> His bird song! His human son is just a bird! This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fan- a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Bro, why is he just a pigeon? In a suit? Cool! Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool! Okosan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo, coo, spare the jest, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo, they'll rule the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Cool. Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. Honestly, he's been the spiciest of the bird boys we've met. No cap. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Um, maybe it's high in carbs and, you know, you gotta carbo load before big events like that. You know, pasta makes you faster. And so ended the first day of my second term at St. Pidgeo Nations. 4-11. Oh, so it's Mar March, April, <laughs> it's April 11th. Okay, Kazuaki, he was the teacher. Um, what voice I do for him? His was like, uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want, you can, but you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool, Okosan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirogami? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. 
Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Just like that? Like you didn't have to run or anything? Nepotism ho. Don't we get a vote? There we go. Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the, oh, I get to join a team. A team. Student council, track team, library staff. Well, IRL in high school, I was on student council all four years, um, not to flex or anything. I was a student council representative, but it's a dating sim. So, okay, so if I do the student council, I'll get to be with Rich Boy. Um, if I do track team, I'll get to be with Pigeon Boy. And if I do library st staff, I'll probably get to be with that little freshman boy. Honestly, of all the birds I've met, the pigeon one is the spiciest, like I said. So we're going to the track team. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Wisdom one, I don't know if it is vitality, eight, and then I assume cha is charisma, which is five. Attend math class, gym class, music class. Um, math class is gonna be with the teacher. Gym class, I don't know. I don't know what gym class or music class is gonna be. I'm gonna go to music class, cause I always really, I, I did like choir and band in high school. I, was, I always liked that. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Am I gonna meet a songbird? Am I gonna meet a sexy songbird? Emily leveled up, charisma increased by five. You can level up in this game. I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okasan's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. Cool, and Emily appears. Is it a challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. A fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really, I want to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? Cool, he stands before you. Okosan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. Oh, well, here, my forms, thank you. Cool. A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam? Yeah, girl, you gotta try out for the team. Of course. Track isn't daisy chain making, Missy. Cool. Okosan will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long distance? Um. I'm a better sprinter IRL than I am long distancer, so we're, we're sprinting. Hmm. A sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How dull. Coo, coo, on your mark, get set, go. How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. Pant. Oh, I, I guess I'm... <sighs> coo, you're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Thanks. Coo, that's all, folks. And so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? Uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Girl, do you live in a cave? Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Okay, now I have to remember names. Okay, Ryo Ryota's my friend. Sakuya's rich boy. San is... San is the track team boy, and Kazuaki's the teacher. I'm gonna talk to my, my best buddy, Ryuta, whose name I think I pronounce different every time. I'm sorry if there's anyone, like, named this that's watching, and I've said it wrong every time. I apologize. Ryuta, let's eat together. Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Emily? Yep, it's a calorie mm e. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Geez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. <gasps> We're sharing lunch? Really? Wow, thanks, Ryuta. 
And so I got to eat half of Ryuta's lunch. His cooking is so good. We can save the calorie Emmy in case of a survival situation. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Oh, okay. So the electives are how I raise my little stats over here on the side. Okay, so music class does charisma. Gym class does vitality. Like, okay. Um, I guess I want to be a well-rounded person. So I'm going to attend math class, hopefully get a wisdom stat boost. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm, then maybe you should review the basics a little more, Bishop. Y yes sir! Emily leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Okay, yeah. So I guess next time I'll do vitality. Increase that stat as well. Er, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do- what I say in the beginning? I was like, are we gonna have all the arcs that are standard in Slice of Life anime? Guess we are. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. Are we gonna get to do a cultural festival arc too? What are you going to do, Ryuta? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Cool. Okosan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okosan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? Could you like the, the softball throw? Or, or like shot put? How about a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well, leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can't decide. That is all for today. Ryuta's doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Saki has a cheerleader. Yua might be running the first aid tent, what should I do? I'll have to think about it. What should I do? Today's the sports festival. Okay, I guess I don't get much time to think about it. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the three-legged race, marathon, cheerleaders, first aid tent, library. Um, this song is a bop. I'll do a three-legged race. That'll be fun. Oh, are you joining us? Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set. Go! Ryuch is running for both of us. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. Am I a, a bird-sized human? Or are these human-sized birds? Or are we, like, normal proportions? Comment down below what you think the proportions of the characters are. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, a midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Bishop. Yes? Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Y yes? Not too, mm, nope, sorry, you did badly. No. Try harder next time, okay? Am I gonna have to do retakes? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. I feel that though. I feel like I have disappointed every math teacher I have ever had. Rip to them. Okay. With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Emily. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... Oh, am I gonna get to meet Brian? He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgeolympics. 
He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Because doves and pigeons are the same bird. Like, they're, they're the same. That, that's a true fact. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. <laughs> His last name's Pigeon, but that's like, that would be like if my name was Emily Human. That's whack. Okay. Uh-oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Emily. Mm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the, the store, the infirmary, and cafeteria. Those are my choices for what to do over summer break. Go to the cafeteria, get a snack. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me, one half dead, half dead fried rice, please? Yum, my favorite. Cool, no, that is wrong, a fake, a vicious lie. A familiar voice indeed. Cool, that is not pudding. I know, you you said, so come on, let's get outside. We can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. San saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but ow, cut it out, Okasan. Cool, release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. Help me, Emily. Um, let him go, leave it to me. Leave it to me! Leave it to me, Ryuta! My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Ah! Cool, no! The Beast Queen shows her true colors! Pull out, pull out! Okosan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Ah, uh, safe at last. Thanks, Emily. No problem. All I did was shout at him anyway. Apparently that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Should attend gym class because I haven't attended that yet. We want to boost that vitality stat. Today is calisthenics. Ryuta, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up? Don't even. I always got one on the chin up in PE. I'm I'm so bad at it. I never got more than like two at most. D don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Emily leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year and may my stomach get better, Ryota. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force, rule the world from the shadows, become a famous artist. I'm going to rule the world from the shadows. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Bishop? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... I'm gonna say yes, because he's right. It is dangerous to walk alone at night. I always try to leave the house if I'm, like, walking around at night in groups. Obviously, I don't leave the house now. Um, so I'm gonna say yes. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yes, please. All right. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very rustic, Bishop. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Is homeboy homeless? Today's an elective day, what should I do? Um, okay, my lowest stat is charisma. So I'm gonna attend music class. Bump that up. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be, the musical gorilla? 
finally leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Okay, so I think also certain choices I make level up some of those stats as well. We're in a different room for next period, right? Barely two hours into the day and I'm already hungry. Ugh, I can't bear this. Ryuta, we're in the textile room, right? Let's walk together. Uh, sure. Huh? That was an awfully unenthusiastic response. Um, you don't look too good. Are you okay, Ryuta? I I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. Uh, you're not fine. Y yeah, it's my stomach. This happens all the time. It's nothing to worry about. I'll just go to the infirmary for a bit. Could you let the teacher know, please? Can you make it there on your own? Yeah, I can. Thanks. See you in a bit. He never showed up for third period or fourth. Is he still in the infirmary? I'll go check on him after I eat lunch. Hey, uh, uh, they didn't expect my name to start with a vowel. And Emily marches on her stomach after all. Ryuta. Oh, hello. Are you okay? You look even worse than you did earlier. I'm fine. Sitting just makes it worse. I got some medicine from the doctor, but I'm not convinced the medicine is doing him any good. I wouldn't trust anything that doctor prescribed. Something's wrong if you go to the infirmary feeling sick and go home feeling worse. There's no music, and I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Or if my headphones, like, jacked up. I'm gonna assume it's on purpose? Wait a minute, Ryuta. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. W wait, Emily. It's not his fault. I just have a weak stomach. I'm going to... Go yell at the doctor stay here. His medical business is his medical business. You're right. If I go yell at him, it might make him target you next time you're there. D don't say stuff like that. I'll try to stay on his good side, for your sake, Ryuta. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Bishop. Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, I didn't mean to click. I think I just accidentally double-clicked. Well, I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! Munch, munch, munch! Okosan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans! Munch, munch. They're good! It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Scold him. Join him. Join him! These look pretty good. Munch, munch. Yum. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. Is that healthy? Okay, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I'll see you all again next week for the finale to this. But yeah, it's been fun. Um, so many bird boys to choose from. Let me know down in the comments who your favorite bird boy that we've met is. I think by default, my favorite are Ryuta and Okosan, just because they're the birds that I think we've interacted with the most. Um, I haven't really talked to the other birds that much. But yeah, hope this got you in the Valentine's Day mood, and I'll see you next week on the actual holiday for the conclusion to this little story. Cool, cool. That's my bird impression. It's not good.